Have you ever wondered what is hidden in the blackness of the cosmos? Is there any end or is it infinite? Where is the center of the universe or is there any center at all? I'm sure at least once you're wondering about this and in this video I will try to answer these questions. The cosmological principle is usually stated formally as viewed on sufficiently large scale, the properties of the universe are the same for all observers. Wait, wait, so the universe looks the same only for humans from the Earth? No, by an observer we mean that any observer at any location in the universe, not simply any human observer at any location on Earth. The universe looks the same wherever and whoever you are. It can be you or a dog on another planet. It can be your favorite teddy bear in the center of Milky Way. Or it can even potentially be a tree on a neutron star. There are two concepts which combine create the whole idea of the cosmological principle, isotropy and homogeneity, but let me explain what these words mean and how the universe really looks like. Isotropic means the same in all directions. So, imagine everything is expanding from you, you are the center of expansion. All dots on the balloon are moving away from each other at the same rate. But where is the center of the universe? It is everywhere and it is nowhere. Let's make it clear with another experiment. These layers with dots are identical, but the top one represents expansion as dots are further away. Now I will move the top dot on the bottom one. It clearly looks like the center of the expansion. If we repeat this experiment with other dots, we will get the same result. There is the second part of the cosmological principle, which says that the universe is homogeneous. It means the same everywhere. So, the universe is the same everywhere and the same in all directions, but how is it possible? If you look around your room, it's definitely not homogeneous or isotropic. That is why we use this principle only on large scales, hundreds and millions of years. So, no matter who you are and what other people say about you, you might be the real center of the universe.